Jennifer and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit different kind of video. It's kind of in the format of a tag, although I, I didn't actually see this one as a tag. I was actually reading a blog and it was an idea for doing blog posts. So anyway, I thought this would be fun and I'm going to be talking about five firsts. So I'm going to tell you about my first kiss, my first concert, my first job, my first car, and my first big responsibility. So, okay, so let's get started. My first kiss um, was not with my first boyfriend. Um, my first boyfriend was in sixth grade, and his name was Ken, and the most romantic we ever got was that we would go to the top of this, you know how playgrounds, they'll sometimes have those rockets, you know, those big tall things with metal bars. We'd go to the very top of the rocket and have shoelace tying contests. <laughs> so anyway, but um, actually my first kiss was in seventh grade um, and it was playing spin the bottle. Um, thankfully, the boy who spun the bottle and it landed on me was somebody I'd, I'd had a crush on for a while, so I didn't mind kissing him, but I was really embarrassed. So anyway, yeah, first kiss. Okay, my first concert was my freshman year of high school, and I didn't even know the, the group. Um, I went with my friend and her older sister. This was back in the days of disco, and um, my friend's sister was really into this group. It was the Isley Brothers. Um, so I remember going and feeling like I was, you know, big shot going to a concert for the first time. Um, but I really don't remember much about the concert because I didn't know any of the songs or, <laughs> or anything. But, but um, I did go to quite a, well, I guess I went to several other concerts in high school. Uh, Heart, I went to two Heart concerts. The Magazine Tour and also Dog and Butterfly. I also saw Styx. What was that tour? Lost in Paradise? Is that what it was? No, Welcome to Paradise? I don't know. Um, anyway, gosh, did I go to others? I think so, but I can't remember. Um, all right, so let's see. My first, what was next? Job. Okay, my first job was at Dairy Queen. I was 15. I lied on my job application and said I was 16. And um, yeah, I wanted to save for a car because my parents made us buy our own cars you know it was back in the day not everybody had to have a car back then you know so we either rode bikes or walked or got a ride somewhere whatever but I wanted to have a car when I turned 16 so I got this job at Dairy Queen to this day if I'm using a soft serve ice cream machine if you know if I'm ever in a place that has one of those I can make the perfect Dairy Queen um, ice cream cone um, but okay so um, I worked there for probably about a year I did save up to get my first car, which is the next one. And um, I don't even know if you guys will remember this car ever even being in existence, but my first car was, now remember, this was 1978. Um, my car was a 71 Gremlin. Do you, re <laughs> do you even remember what those looked like? Probably one of the ugliest cars ever on the planet. Um, if I can find a picture of me with my gremlin, I will pop it in. Otherwise, I'll just put in a stock picture, whatever, of a gremlin so you can see what they're like. Very unattractive cars. Um, but I was excited about mine and I got it pinstriped and I got it re um, reupholstered and um, it was a car. And no one made fun of me about having a gremlin because I had wheels and not everybody did. So I bought this thing for $450. I had saved up my money and bought it from the people across the street. My, um, This is the funny part. My dad, when I was going to go and actually pay for the car and get it. Now I was 15. I was not, I was not able to drive at the time I bought the car. I had the car for two months before I turned 16. Uh, but I was so excited to get this thing. So I, I was getting ready to go over and um, pay for the car so I could get it. And my dad said, um, well, Jennifer, I'm going to pay for for um, $200 of your car. And I said, oh, no, no, Dad, I, I have the money. I, I don't need you to do that. And he goes, oh, no, you don't understand. I'm going to own your, I'm going to buy the tires. And I looked at him and I said, what? And he said, well, if there's ever a time when you want to go out and take your car, and I don't want you to, you're welcome to take the car as long as you leave the tires at home. So that was the moment that I went, oh, having a car really doesn't 
equal freedom, does it, completely? So anyway, so my dad insisted on paying um, $200 of that $450, but, but of course, he made me save the entire $450, thinking that, you know, I was paying for the whole thing. But anyway, I used that money to get the car pinstriped and reupholstered. So uh, yeah, so do you guys remember those days of like going to the gas station and everyone digging in their pockets for dimes and quarters and whatever, just so you could put more gas in the car so you can keep going around in the evening on a weekend night or whatever crazy okay um so let's see so now we're down to we did first kiss first concert first job first car okay so the last one first big responsibility now i i thought long and hard about this one i suppose i could say babysitting was the first big responsibility it, that was pretty big responsibility um driving i guess i could say was the first big responsibility, but the thing that I really remember as being a big responsibility, I mean, I remember going, wow, and having to really think about this, was, um, sorry, I'm seeing bouncing over there and across the street in somebody's backyard, there's some kids bouncing on a trampoline. So, um, okay, anyway, my first big responsibility was when I got a cat. Um, I was 20, 24 or 23, I think, um, probably 23. And I had a roommate and she said, hey, wouldn't it be great if we got kittens? And I, and I remember thinking, well, yeah, that'd be fun. But then I thought, wow, wow. I mean, this, is, this, this cat that I get could live, you know, could be with me till I'm 40. At that point, I thought, wow, this is, this is not just some little thing you do on a whim. This is having to pay for them to go to the vet and you have to feed them and you can't just go out of town on a whim without taking care of them or making arrangements for them. And I, I just remember really thinking this over long and hard and um, finally decided, okay, let's get kittens. So we got these two black cats and she named hers Allie and I named mine Tom. So we had Tom and Allie cat. Um, and then I guess getting a cat wasn't as big of a responsibility. She didn't see it as big, of, as big of a responsibility as I did because a few months later, she decides to not only dump her cat, but our lease and move to Hawaii. And, um, and she left the cat with me and you know, she was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm taking off. So, so I, I uh, had to find Allie a home, which I did, and, um, and then I, I kept Tom with me, and he didn't end up being with me until I was 40. He, he actually, uh, at that time I was into having a cat that would be indoor, outdoor, and you know, f roaming and that kind of a thing, and he ended up getting hit by a car, which just absolutely killed me. And um, so my next cat, which was not too long after that, just a few months later, I guess once I had the accepted the responsibility of having a cat. I didn't mind continuing that. So I got this cat, Jake, and he was an indoor cat. And ever since then, I've always been really, really protective of my kitties. So yeah, so Tom was my first big responsibility, owning a cat, so. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I thought you might like it. Hope you guys are doing well, and if you're not subscribed, just hit that button. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is several times a week, and I hope I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys, bye-bye.